A chance for me to get better at cutting my kids' hair. Um, I do it whenever I can and because I love cutting and I love to just be having that moment with them. Being more efficient, giving them that really high quality look um, without having to actually break the bank. Um, being able to do that myself is, was a big win. Hey guys, my name is Mohammed Nardeen and uh, I'm a UX designer. It's great, like uh, from day one, it looked high quality, professional. Um, experience with Francis was great. It's really down to earth, easy to talk to, personable. Uh, he made the experience of cutting really easy, comfortable, um, and he really helped build me up. You always want to spray it down as well. And then you just want to go over that same area and start knocking out the line. Okay, so did you did you stop at the one? Perfect. Getting me comfortable and making it um, easy for me to continue to sort of enhance myself. There you go. And then see that hair? This hair stays at the top, right? Because this has nothing to do with the sides. Yeah. I think a lot of barbers, what they end up doing, they sometimes they cut too high up, right? Get that line, erase that line right over here. It's going to disappear. There you go. Make sure you pull the skin tight when you get around. Exactly. That. So with the one and a half guard sometimes, if you think about it, the, it's, it's really sharp around the edges so if you scoop in a little bit it'll, it'll poke him you know a little bit too hard so you want to keep it flush uh, being able to relate to where i was bringing my kids in and seeing where i'm making things uh, where i have opportunity to make things better was also a huge win. so as you can see like he's got a little bit of a dip here so it's going to be a little more difficult we want to turn to the best lighting you want to tilt his head over so you can see and i'm, I'm just holding that position Yeah, you always want to brush him off and just use the blow dryer to get the hair clean. I know he gets itchy and irritated, right? Yeah. So we could do a 0.5 open and then work in between those lines. So just kind of rub, you know, like just rub the clipper, but keep it flush, right? A chance for me to get better at cutting my kids' hair. Um, I do it whenever I can and because I love cutting and I love to just be having that moment with them. Definitely just being better at cutting, um, being more efficient, giving them that really high quality look um, without having to actually break the bank. Um, being able to do that myself is, is a big win. And remember when you pull it up, remember what you're doing, the comb follows with it. That's why it's still curly, right? Yeah, so do that next one, don't worry, you're doing well. You're looking at certain things. You're looking at is the haircut squared? Yes, look, it's squared. Nicely faded, you did a 0.5 fade all the way up to the top, showcasing the, the texture and the curls, right? Yeah, and what I do when I blow the hair off, I just go like this, so. And I do the same, like with any textured hair, I'm always crunching, crunching the hair, right? That brings out the texture and it kind of pulls the hair up. So put the diffuser. Put two and two. Listen to the crown and follow the crown shapes. The crown is 360, right? So just move it. So just in general, was able to find the parts of this experience that I wanted to take out. He was able to really take that and help me build on that for the whole course.